everybody, it's Brent Plays Madden, and today we're here with an offensive budget beast video. So, I have a bunch of budget beasts, I've already looked them up, I've already, you know, found uh, what their stats are and all that. So, yeah, let's just get started, let's go with, sorry, I was looking at O'Guards. Let's go with uh, wide receivers, and we'll start low. So, there's a couple, you know, lower end elite wide receivers that, um, you know, they have interesting stats, so I want to show you guys and let me let me look up the first one so the first one is i can't even type the first one is kj hamler 82 overall so this man has 88 speed and 89 acceleration and he only goes for maybe 25 30,000 coins actually 20,000 coins right here and it's, it's just a solid card if you need some speed for certain events or just you're starting out in the game He's just a solid card to have. And the rest of his stats might not be great, but the speed and excel alone is pretty good. The next guy we're going to go on to is, again, also an 82 overall. And also team of the week is also John Brown. So, again, 88 speed, 88 excel this time. Uh, still solid, you know, uh, if you need decent speedy wide receiver for the beginning of the game. Definitely a guy to check out. And again, he goes for a little bit more, I guess. So 40,000, 30,000 coins here. And yeah, decent pickup if you need a budget piece. All right, let's move on to the slightly better wide receivers. You know, the high end, still elite, but high end wide receivers. Uh, the first one I'm going to show is, okay, we'll go Robbie Anderson. Now this card was released in season four, Arctic Blitz. And he has 90 speed with 90 excel, as well as like 89 catch, 88 agility. This card is actually, he has insane stats for his overall. Like absolutely insane. So if you need, he could even be a potential starter. Like on your team, if you have maybe a 90 overall squad or something, he could be a potential starter. I, I know he's lower overall, but those stats, if you need like a cheap, you know, reliable option. He goes for about, you know, 90 to 100K. This one's actually up for 77. Uh, so yeah, definitely a good option. Moving on, we have a lower overall, but still, you know, still really good. We're gonna go with Henry Ruggs, 85 overall. And this guy, low power, yes, but 91 speed and 92 excel, along with 89 agility. So again, this guy, if you throw it deep, he will get there, you know, he will burn the cornerbacks as long as they don't have, you know, 97 team of the year or like a 94. Like, if they have, you know, an 85 corner, like this 85 wide receiver, he will definitely burn them. Um, that speed alone is just absolutely insane. And, I mean, you know, there's not much to say about it. He goes for a little bit more. He goes for about 100K. You know 110 but that's because the speed in excel alone is absolutely insane and okay the best arguably the best budget beast wide receiver i think is definitely mvs or marquez valdez scantley scantling so here we um did i spell his name wrong hold on Where did he go? Okay guys, sorry about that. And definitely the best wide receiver here is definitely 86 overall MVS or Marquez Valdez Gantling. So he boosted to an 80 right. 89 right now until what actually until tom yeah until tomorrow uh but again like the rugs he has 91 speed 92 excel but unlike the rugs he has 92 agility as well and 87 catch pretty good along with 90 power so this card definitely one of the fastest you know most acceleration elite cards you'll see out there and he doesn't go for too much like obviously he's not gonna go for 50k because he has these insane stats but he goes for 220 
you might be able to bid on him for 150 I don't know but 220k for 91 speed 92 excel 92 agility uh, definitely a good budget beast card to say the least um, all right now we're off of wide receivers let's go to tight ends now the reason I didn't put any diamonds in is because those aren't really budget beasts so, okay 80 plus tight ends uh, first let's go with the uh, the decent options you know let's go Evan Ingram 86 overall or I mean 88 overall the reason I said 86 was 86 speed okay so first of all you're looking at tight end speed is pretty important because you don't want them to be just slow and not being able to like your quarterback has to get the pass off you have to be able to throw it to him and he has to be there on time so 86 speed 88 excel you know along with 85 catch which is not bad um I'm a little biased because he's a Giants player and I love the Giants, but, you know, 80 power also is not bad at all. So he would definitely be a decent budget beast tight end uh, for you to go and grab. And I believe um, he just has good all around stats. He's going for maybe 100K. Uh, let's see, 84,000. Okay, so he's going for 84,000. Not bad at all. Next one. We're going to go with the Darren Waller. Now, this one might be controversial just because, you know, by the way, 88 Waller. This one might be controversial because it seems like everybody has a Master Series Waller. But if you don't, uh, this guy right here, 87 speed, 88 excel, 88 catch as well. And just good all around stats, just like the Evan Ingram. And also, this one has a little bit more power. It has 100 power. And you can see he doesn't go for too much. I mean, 79,000. You know, pretty good price for him. Uh, there might be even cheaper ones here. 82000 right there. So, honestly, just good all-around stats. Now, wait. This one's 100 power. Is that a glitch? Because all these other ones say 90 power. Well, okay, the base card would be 90 power. Um, oh, no. I guess it might be 100 power. Anyways, good all-around stats. And let's go to the last tight end that I would consider taking if you need a budget beast. And this man, uh, I spelled his name wrong, but his name is Dawson Knox. So this is the Bills tight end. Um, you can see 86 speed, 89 excel, decent 84 catch. You know, his stats are again, all around pretty good. He, uh, it looks like he's an 84 and he's boosted until tomorrow, but still, Still not bad stats. Uh, his price will probably go down a little bit tomorrow, so it, it'll be easier to pick him up. Uh, yeah, 72K right now. He might go down a little bit, but decent stats. And, okay, let's go to the quarterbacks. And, yeah, we'll wrap it up with quarterback. Let me know, by the way, if you want to see a defense budget piece thing. And if you want to see, like, offensive line or something. Didn't know if you guys wanted to see that. Um. So, yeah. Oh, also, we're going to be doing halfbacks as well. Okay, so quarterbacks. Uh, the first one I want to show you guys is this Joe Burrow Arctic Blitz. So the Joe Burrow, uh, if you see that 80 speed, which is not bad, you can get away from some pressure, not all of them. But it's not as much about the 80 speed. It's more about 86 throw power and just the throw accuracy. So 87 throw accuracy short, 85 mid, 82 deep, and 82 throw on the run. Along with the 80 speed, makes it a decent, you know, decent card. So, he's just decent. He might be, you know, a little bit more expensive than your average elite quarterback. But, I mean, I'd say he's around 120k. Yeah, see that? About 120k right there. And, okay, moving on to the next one is the 86 Matt Stafford. So, this card... What? Oh, it's Matthew. I was like, wait, what? All right, so 86 Matthew Stafford. The power is really bad and the speed. I admit that. But, but, but if you can get, you know, away from that 88 throw power with, you know, all the throw accuracies that you see on the screen right now, all right, that's pretty decent. Um, And plus, he doesn't even go for that. It goes for maybe 60K, maybe less. So that would be a decent pickup. 
And I'm just going to mention this one quickly. Um, but you guys don't need to take too much into this. You know, you don't need to read too much into this. 40 power, not great. But 82 speed. And he goes for like 20k. I mean, that's a decent, you know, that's a decent pickup if you really need somebody fast. And, okay. The next one, guys. Jalen Hurts. Boom, right here. He, uh, he has 82 speed and has decent throw stats. Besides the throw accuracy deep. You know, this 86 throw power is pretty good. So, Hurts, Scrambler, you know, low power. But, you could, uh, definitely rock, you know, roll with him, um, for a bit. And, okay, one more thing, guys. One more guy. Uh, actually, two more guys. But first, Carson Wentz goes for about 90k. Uh, I know it's only 78 speed, but if you look at those throw stats, again, not bad. 86 throw power. You know, the deep, you know, accuracies are all around 80, so not bad with him. Uh, you could get away with rolling with him. Uh, and then the last one, guys, sorry, this is going to be the last one, is Dak Prescott. But this is his 88 card that we're looking at. So he goes for maybe 240, 250K, which is tend to be on the more expensive side. Uh, his speed isn't great, it's 75, but you, that's decent, all right? You don't need amazing speed necessarily. Um, 85 throw power and the throw accuracies are there. That's what that's why this card would be decent. Plus, I mean, 88 overall is on the higher tier of the elite. So, yeah, not bad. And I just want to mention 82 Kendall Hinton with 81 speed goes for like 20k if you want him. And 83 Lamar can't throw, so maybe stay away from him. Okay, let's go on to the running backs now. Okay, guys, we're back. So looking at the running back options, there actually weren't too many great running backs um budget beast so i guess i'll just go with the first one guys we're gonna have mike davis the 86 overall mike davis uh 85 speed with 89 elusiveness and 87 excel um not bad all right not bad for a budget beast again he goes for not too many coins like you can see this one for 58k i'm sure some of these other ones are maybe cheaper and yeah so it's just not bad that and all these running backs this you know are just not bad that's um okay the next guy we're gonna go with is i believe the 85 no 86 okay 86 ronald jones with 85 speed 87 excel 89 elusiveness um 87 agility so it's kind of like the mike davis um but he doesn't have as much power necessarily as mike davis uh but still i mean He's not bad. He does go for a little bit more just because he's used in one of the sets. But again, not a bad card. Okay, and the last one, guys, is going to be the 85 Ezekiel Elliott. So this man right here, where are these? I mean, not the 85, the 87 Zeke. There it is. Here. Okay, so he's not necessarily a budget beast because he goes for 300k. But I just thought I'd add him in here just in case you see him drop for 100 like the other one. So 86 speed, 89 excel, 86 elusiveness. Basically for running backs, I'd say if you want to get a good running back, you know, I would just save up your coin to get a really good one because there's no great budget piece. But yeah, I mean, this one's all right, I guess. Not good for the what the coin's worth. So if you really want a budget piece running back, I'd say just go for this Mike Davis, honestly. And then if you want a better one, maybe save up for where is he this todd Gurley right here uh he's the cheapest one i can think of you know 489k which honestly might be somewhat of a snipe but 89 speed 92 excel 90 carry not bad anyways that's gonna be it for the offensive budget piece guys you know like comment subscribe and uh oh comment below if you want to see a defensive budget piece and uh peace out